please make sure to subscribe to this channel. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. A lot of ladies and gentlemen, that's Los Angeles, California right there, as you can see. And we better wake up and learn the truth. We better understand the truth, ladies and gentlemen. Tell the truth. We better learn the truth very fast. The Latino or the Mexican population in Los Angeles, they're looking for power. Power, control, and dominance with their numbers. And it was caught in the audio that I'm gonna play for you tonight. Black people, we need to be on code. They're on code for their people. We need to be on code. And we need to be about our people. We need to be about power. While we're scrabbling with each other, these folks right here you see on the board have power in Los Angeles. They've had power. One man is running for, who was running for mayor. That is Kevin DeLong. He was one of the members on that damn video that I'm gonna play for you. The racism, calling a child, a, a black child, a monkey. Jiving around, talking about how we're gonna have to figure out how we can take the numbers you know, we're going to have some black people that are going to get upset, but we got the numbers over them. They're buying for power while we're sitting up here whining about other stuff. Talking about black male and female warfare against each other. These people are looking for power, man. They're not looking. For, they're not playing games with each other. They're on they're on code with their women. They're on code with their culture while they're in council leaked video or audio footage exposing how they look at us the blacks making fun of our voting blocks black folks you gotta wake up you gotta get your bs together they're buying for power we're bullshitting around show will be on in a moment tell the truth los angeles california city of angels and city of racism too and it ain't just coming from white folks they keep telling us about this people of color we're not people of color black people don't say that word because when you say people of color you put us in a trick bag with the very people in los angeles california that's in power politically 
hating on us and figuring out how they can carve up the city to make sure that they have the advantage over us while we're on social media, while we're talking about black male and black female uh, uh, relations and talking about, oh, it's a war, it's a war of the sexes. Y'all all are fooling, I laugh at you. The real war, the real war are the people who we would call ourselves people of color. And I, every time I hear black people use that word, oh, people of color, you're now putting us with other people who are trying to destroy us politically and move our asses out. Black people are becoming a done deal in Los Angeles, California. We have no power there, no political power, no social power in that city whatsoever. As the Latino population has grown in numbers and then when they're behind chambers on council membership, they're working against us using their political power and having secret conversations that have been leaked now. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. This is the city of Los Angeles and they're having their secret council meetings to do us in and in talking about us as if we're animals talking about our children. Now, one of the council members that they were talking about, Mr. Bonin, and I'm going to show you, he is a white man and he has a black son that they were talking about. And they were using uh, Nori Martinez, who is the the uh, president of the council. And this is a picture of her right here, ladies and gentlemen. She is the one that was making reference to his child in Spanish. See, speaking the, the Spanish language, calling him a monkey. Come on in here, everybody. I'm not playing with y'all tonight. This is the Information Man show. Let's get into it. Tell the truth. Tell the goddamn truth tonight. Y'all need to share this. Well, I'm not going to have, a, I'm not going to talk too much tonight. I'm not going to hold you all night either. This will be a short live stream. I had to do this. I need y'all to share this damn, I'm going to say it again, share this damn video in all your social media. And I mean all of your, this is a red alert. Red alert. This is all hands on board. I would have loved to have done this on Sunday where I have a bigger crowd, but this is all hands on board. All hands. All hands on board. I'm going to hit the bell again. All hands on board. I need y'all to share this video. I need you to tell other black people about this video. I need you to send this to other of your friends, your aunts, your fathers, your uncles, your cousins. They need to see this. Send this throughout all your social media. If you are a content creator, I need you to immediately send this to other content creators, this video tonight, and have them share it as well and share it in your community tab and tell your audience. I'm not playing tonight. I'm not in the mood tonight. I'm not going to, I'm not in the mood for, uh, I, I won't, I'll shout people out when I can, but that right there, right now, that don't really matter to me. The information that I'm about to provide you is what matters most. We know that in Los Angeles, California, black people are being gentrified out of this place we call California. And in, in San Francisco, California, black people are becoming almost non existence. Los Angeles, you've had, and I talked about this before, you had the Mexican mafia that put out a green light on black people in Los Angeles. What do I mean by that? Is that the gang structures that they have, they want to take over certain territory in Los Angeles. I'm showing these pictures because this is Los Angeles. And they want to push black people out of areas that we have normally lived in. Long Beach, places South Central LA. They're trying to push us out of these areas bringing in the gang element that's selling the drugs and trying to take over what they would call their street turf. On top of that, you've had black people that be, that have been harmed that were not part of gangs. Many, a couple of years ago, I did a video where I mentioned and talked about uh, some of the black communities where you had Latino or Mexican gangs 
that were using Marty cocktails and bombing black people out of their housing project homes, throwing it through the window, causing fires and the damn government in, in Los Angeles, California. They were piss poor in the way they handled it. And this was gang related. Now, they did arrest all 13, I think 19 or more of those gang members, Mexican gang members who were doing assaults on black people living in these this apartment project area trying to get them out because they want the territory. Black people have been under siege in Los Angeles, California, not to mention the number of black men that are homeless in Los Angeles, California, and nobody seems to give a damn about that. Black men being homeless, black people being homeless. Nobody gives a damn about that in Los Angeles, California. Nobody gives about that in this whole damn world. While we're giving money to the Ukraine and every damn body else, while we're helping immigrants or people who are migrants who come over here illegally, and then we're paying for them to be able to stay here, go to a hospital, be in a hotel, stay wherever, travel. We're paying for it out of our tax dollars. And we got black men and women homeless in Los Angeles, California, who probably were military veterans, paid their dues to this country, fell on hard times, maybe have mental health problems. And they're out there in the streets and nobody gives a damn. And then we got we got Democrats who run the damn state who ain't doing a damn thing about the problem, as well as Republicans. Demon cracks and Republican cracks, <laughs> Republican, Republican clan and demon cracks. They're not doing a damn thing about it while they're giving money to all these other people in other countries and people who come over here and break the law coming over here seeking asylum, but broke the law coming here and we're paying for their money. We're sending billions of dollars to Ukraine, but yet the damn government, I don't care if it's under Trump, under uh, 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 Biden or any of these damn presidents that we've had, they have not dropped one of any billions or millions of dollars into Los Angeles to deal with the homeless problem in Los Angeles. Yet the government in Los Angeles has been ill, has been ill and unprofessional in the way they're dealing with the issue at all. They know how to arrest black people and put them out there, put them in prison, put them in, put them in those buildings that you see in Los Angeles, just like this buildings, high rise buildings where they put us, uh, they can put us in those jails and then strip us off into prison. And Los Angeles is good for that. They're good for arresting us. They're good for arresting us with their, with their uh, gang activity coming out of their sheriff's department, their mistreatment of us in their, in their police departments, the LAPD. And so here we have who we supposed to be, as everybody says, we supposed to be in a coalition with the brown people because they call us people of color is if we're all in the same bag and then you got people of color who's supposed to be on page with us so they tell us who are hot who are lurking in the shadows behind closed doors having little secret meetings having meetings and talking about us cheesy talking about a black child talking about black voters talking about how they want to how they want to carve things up how we got the numbers. There's only 25 blacks here. Don't worry about that. We got the numbers over them. Black people, I'm telling you again, all you black people on YouTube, stop talking about this gender war crap. Stop talking that gender war BS. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop fighting each other. Stop going against each other. These people, they, the, the, the Hispanic population, especially in California, they're looking for power, power control and dominance in the government with their numbers to sway everything to their benefit. They don't give a damn about us. And these three people clearly showed it. One of them is running on the left. The left sucker that you see right here on the left side, look him up, is Kevin DeLone. Kevin DeLone, D-E-L-E-O-N, DeLone. Okay, check him out. Beware of him because he's trying to run for mayor, I believe. And there's a black woman who I'm going to put on the screen very soon in a video who's running who all three of them claim that they are supporting her. But behind the scenes, they're talking cheesy about our people. The sucker in the middle is Gil Chodilla, Chodillo. He's a council member. And then the other, the woman on the far right is Nellie Martinez. N-U-R-Y Martinez. She's the president of the council in Los Angeles. They're sitting behind closed doors. Uh, somebody 
leaked the audio and they're talking about about us. They're talking about a black kid on a float because the black kid, you know, had ants in his pants. He was, you know, moving around and maybe, you know, kids do that sometimes. Maybe they can't stand still They're, you know, and they're saying, you know, that boy needs to be uh, he needs to have his hands put on him. She said that out of her mouth that he should have his hands. His, he should be handled. In a certain rough way. And then they're on there talking about the 25 black people. And then they also talked about, I think, Gil Cassetti, the mayor, I believe the mayor of Los Angeles or Mr. Boney. Mr. Boney is the father of the black child that they were talking about. I'll be reading. He says this here, controversial comments. We are uh, we are a pod by the by the anger. In the absolute disgusting, we're disgusted that Nellie Martinez, Nellie Martinez attacked our son with horrific racial slurs. It's vile. Dis, disgraceful. The city council needs to remove her as council president immediately. He said it's her, it's, it's horrid. It's vile. It's horrid. He wants her removed immediately. What she should be here. Here she is with Gil Garcetti, I think is his name. And in that meeting, they were calling out Gil and saying that Gil is with the blacks, meaning black people in terms of he supports black people in the city of, 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 of LA, which I, find that very laughable to be quite honest about it. <laughs> so they say F him. They say in the video, F this mayor because he supports black people. So much for the black and brown coalition that they talk to us about, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think? What do you think? It's a laugh. It's a, it's a joke. <laughs> there is no black and brown coalition. Let's stop BSing around. Let's stop playing around. Los Angeles is a cesspool of racism, racial divide, and black people are being pushed out of this damn city like we never had any stake in the damn city. This is what they're doing to us, treating us. Black man can't even walk the streets without being harassed during the time when they they had they had their own form of stopping fricks in LA where they would stop every black male because they thought every black man was a gang member. This is a damn shame. Let's get to these audio clips for you, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Damn shame. Let's go with this one right here. Let's go with the news report first, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, here we go. Comments made by some L.A. City Council members. The comments were leaked over the weekend, and now there are calls for those council members to resign. NBC4 President Ariola joins us live now with what was caught on tape and also the swift reaction. Annette. Hey there, good morning, Lynette. Adrian, Tell the truth. Everybody. In that audio recording, you can hear council members Nudy Martinez and Kevin De Leon making racist and disparaging remarks. They were talking about an MLK parade in which their fellow council member Mike Bonin had participated in along with his young black son. Take a listen. Bouncing off the effing wall on the floor, practically tipping it over. There's nothing you can do to control him. I say, can he go? Yeah, these comments, uh, Marty. Martinez made back in October of last year. You can hear her where she is describing Bonin's son using the Spanish word for monkey. And as soon as that tape conversation was leaked, protesters flocked to her 
home, demanding that she step down as council president. Martinez released this written apology saying, quote, in a moment of of intense frustration and anger. I let the situation get the best of me and I hold myself accountable for these comments. For that, I am sorry. The context of this conversation was concern over the redistricting process and concern about the potential negative impact it might have on communities of color. My work speaks for itself. I've worked hard to lead this city through its most difficult time. Now, the LA Times reported that during that tape conversation, De Leon suggested Bonin's son is his accessory, comparing it to Martinez carrying a Louis Vuitton handbag. Last night, we spoke with NBC4's political analyst, Ange Marie Hancock, to dis discuss the fallout of this entire scandal. Take a listen. The racial remarks were extremely damaging. Um, in in terms of each of these uh, people representing the entire city of Los Angeles. So certainly they represent their districts, um, and it's not clear whether or not their voters will hold them accountable, but certainly the people of Los Angeles um, are expecting better from their council members, and certainly their council president. Bonin reacted to the comments made by Martinez and De Leon calling them appalling and disgusting and believes the city council needs to remove Martinez as council president. Now, we do want to point out that it's not clear if anyone else was present during that conversation exactly who recorded that audio, who leaked it, or if the audio has been altered or edited in any way. Reporting live this morning, I'm at Arreola Ford. Lynette Adrian, we'll see back to you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that's the that's the news report. Now I'm going to go to, I have several audio clips for you. They're very short, so it won't take up all night. Let's go to the full audio clip as to what they said. What's great about this is that the audio clip has words that come across. Some words are going to be in English, and when they made the disparaging statements, they said some words in Spanish, particularly saying the Spanish word for monkey, calling uh, bonin. Uh, who's a city council member, white guy who has a son who is black, uh, who's very young. He was a toddler. I think he was a little baby. Little babies do move around. And she's going on and on about this baby and how this baby needs to be taken around the corner and, you know, abused. Talking about, you know, striking, you know, doing harm to this, to this child. Really sick stuff. And then getting into calling a child a little monkey. And we know what that monkey connotation comes from. They've always called black people that monkey word to be racially demeaning towards us. Then you're going to hear them talking, as I said before, about how they want to carve up things and sort of marginalize black people and use their numbers to overpower us politically. I told you it's about they're looking for power, folks. We sitting around here, black people, we sitting around here playing checkers and these other groups are playing chess, baby. OK, and we're playing Tell checkers. the truth. And then we sitting up here arguing with each other while we're arguing. They're going for power. What's wrong with us? OK, they're going for power. I, look, look. It's exactly what we should be doing without the racism involved, of course. It's what we should be doing, but they're doing it. And we're sitting up here BSing around. Let's hear the audio clip. So in the beginning, it's just going to give you a little intro of how they got together. And then it will go into the audio in just a moment. Please be patient and thank you for being here tonight. Read the words too, if you can. I would go after the airport. He goes, I know that idea. I said, Tell my friends. So go take him from his friend. Don't go. Don't go after. Leave him alone. Go get 
at the airport from his little brother, mm -hmm. that little bitch bonnet. Hell yeah, what, what, black people. I go, I go, what is with the bonnet? What is with bonnet? I said, bonnet thinks he's a black child. I don't think he's black. I go, he thinks he's black. I call the same thing. It's cute. It's cute. He goes, why are they so close? I no idea. He's from Massachusetts. This kid, the one here, that's kid is the dumb. He's black. Yeah. yeah. No, Lo trae así during Black History Month, lo lleva al council, y lo pone acá en el... Remember, lo trae, he lo, it's an accessory. When we do the Amo Arcade Parade... Just like, just like when... when they used to have those statues in... Lo trae... In the plantations. Yeah, like when Nori brings her little yard bag or the the Louis Vuitton bag. They play so successfully. Right there, he's referring to... Uh, Boney, which was the council member who has a son, and he's saying he's carrying him like he's a Louis Vuitton bag. Then they made some mention to about about plantations as they were talking about the Dr. King parade. And you're also going to hear them say uh, that you're going to hear one of them say F, I think the mayor, because the mayor is with the blacks, meaning he's a supporter of the black community, even though I think that's a joke. But they clearly see it as a problem and they say F him for that. And these are people who are sitting on a council in city government in Los Angeles, California. And we wonder why black folks are being gentrified out of Los Angeles, California, why black folks are not getting the justice in Los Angeles, why black folks are being pushed out of California in general. We wonder why these other groups, these other Im immigration does not benefit black people. Dr. Claude Anderson told us this, that they're going to make us a permanent underclass. They're going to bring other groups in to replace us. Those other groups are not coming over here to be our friends. They're coming over here to compete and gain power for their community, for their people. While we're sitting up here, we got black leaders sitting up here on political shows talking about people of color and black and brown people. No, we, no, it's black people. These people are not dealing with the things that we deal with. These people are anti-black. These other immigrant groups come over here and they're anti-black. And then we sitting up here as black people on social media fighting with each other. How embarrassing it is. How sad it is. And we got real other ethnic groups that's in city government and they're looking for power. And you see, they're not arguing with that, that woman. They see her as a sister in their, in their plot, in their scheme to maintain their power and control. You're going to hear it, how they say, we're going to have to relax this situation. We're going to have to figure out how both of us will have district because they're, they're going through a district redistricting out there in Los Angeles. So they're talking about how we're going to have to redistrict and how we're going to have to shake things so that all three of us maintain power in the hell with the black people, the hell with the black people. Tell the truth. Let's get back to it. Don't play with my goddamn channel. Y'all go, y'all watch a lot of channels on YouTube. You know, on this damn channel, I bring you content that benefits you and I come strong with it. And I'm not playing tonight. Share this damn video. All the council who wanted to join Herb on the flow because he used to do a whole bunch of nights. Bonnie would be like, Hey, no, are you going to the MLK? Well, Herb invited me, yeah, I'll, I'll go. Okay, I'm bringing in whatever the kids. But last call, let me let you know, because I'm very much involved in the reparation movement in California and know people that are deeply involved in it. Remember I did that show? Have y'all forgotten about the show that I did? You got that group called American Cholo on YouTube. And they, there was a video clip where they were saying that we got to stop this reparation movement here in California for black people. If anybody should get it, it should be us first because we've been here longer than everybody. They were saying about Mexican people that was on American Cholo. And I showed that clip when I did a reparation show. They're trying to get they're trying to mess with that movement, too. See, so there is no black and brown coalition because they're trying to interfere with a reparation movement for what happened to black people, not only in this country, but in California. And they're interview they're, they're interfering in that as well, because we have a governor in Greg Newsom who is backing our play because he's signing bills, but they want to try to stop it. Remember I played that?
Let's get back to this clip. It's like the honest thing. It's like black and brown on this float. And then there's this, this white guy with this little black kid who's misbehaved. Este niño okay, no kids misbehave. Okay, but it's not your no, damn kid. No, they're doing the kids bouncing off the effing walls on the floor, practically tipping it over. There's nothing you can do to control him. And I'm just like, oh. You see what she said? I'm only here trying to parent this kid. I'm like, you can't. Do that. I said no. That little Spanish word that she said, I believe that's the word for monkey. Because it came out in the wash when they translated it that she called the black kid a monkey. And we know that that's the words that they use to describe black people historically when they want to make us look bad. And Mike is like, you know, I'm like, you're not teaching your kid anything. It's me and Karen Bass on the floor. Karen Bass is running for mayor of Los Angeles. Me? Karen Bass and la esposa de Marquise, Carrie. And we're all looking at each other because we're the three women on the floor. Like, who's going to... This kid's going to tip us over. Because yeah. he's literally hanging on the rails. Well, you can't let him, let him off because the, the, the spectators will be the Yeah. Yeah. You hear what they said? This, you hear what he just said? They said that they can't let this little baby uh, be let off the float when he was on a float with his father because the people in the audience would beat his ass. This is elected officials that are talking like this. You understand what I'm saying to you? These are elected officials talking like this. People that expect you to vote for them and trust them. No, there is no people of color. Black folks, get out of that vocabulary. We are no people. There is no people of color. There is just us and other people. We are not in a coalition. We're not, we're, not in a, we're not living in a melting pot. America is one big giant salad bowl made up of tomatoes, lettuce, all mixed together in a bowl. Mixed is all in the bowl. Let me correct. It's all in the bowl, but it ain't mixed together because we're all in our own different islands. And these people are coming over here for power while we waste our time talking about a lot of things on YouTube that don't even matter in the bigger picture. They're looking for power. We need to be looking for power the same. Now, I know people out here will say, oh, I don't believe in politics. I don't believe in voting. Guess what? If the Latino population is voting and they are engaged in politics, guess what? Black people, we lose. They win because they got the numbers and they're getting more politically involved. And I know we say, oh, I, what, what's voting gonna do? I'm telling you, look at Los Angeles, California. Black people don't have any control in Los Angeles, California. Don't talk to me about these, these damn entertainers, the hell with the entertainers. They're not about nothing either. But the black people who live there that struggle every day, they have no political power. You got black men homeless on skid row in L.A. because black people have no political power to change that narrative in Los Angeles, California. Do you see a Latino or a Mexican skid row in Los Angeles like that? You see a black one. Where we make up the largest number of that shit in Los Angeles, where black people came there is migrated there from the south to get away from the racist South. And then we went right to the racist ass West Coast where they recruited all those racist ass police that came from the South. That's how the Los Angeles LA, you wanna know how the LAPD got to be what it was is because they were recruiting right uh, racist ass uh, white men from the South who were the same white men that were beating up on black men, putting their foot on us, trying to oppress us, that were members of the Klan. They recruited them right on up to the West Coast and they joined the LAPD department, which is why the LAPD is what it is today. Just another game. I was like, this kid needs a beat down. Like, let me, let me take him around the corner and then I'll bring him back. Yeah. So she said, give the child, give this minor. I want to be careful here with my words. You know, this is YouTube. She's talking about taking a child, a baby, a child, 
and giving it a, you heard what she said, putting hands on it, take it around the corner. She's talking about this black child as if it ain't even a human, y'all. These are elected officials out there in Los Angeles. Black folks out there should be outraged. <laughs> so anyways, getting back to redistricting. And so that's the end of that video, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to the next video. Uh, this is where it's emphasizing the how she was talking about the child. Here we go. Pero ella era una que era un white kid. Pero yo was like, this kid is a beat down. Like, let me, let me take him around the corner. And so she calls, she first says that the black child looks like a little or acts like a little white kid. They also made fun of the Koreans in Los Angeles and all these other people too, but she's talking about how the black child is acting like a little white kid. And once again, take him around the corner and give him the works. This is the kind of nonsense. See, see, hear it again. I'm gonna let the whole thing play out. Even I'm like a little white, white kid, which I was like, this kid is a beat down. Like, let me, let me take him around the corner and then I'll bring him back. A pinch or something. They're laughing, see? These are elected officials. This is how they really act behind the scene, ladies and gentlemen. This is how a lot of them really act behind the scenes. This is how they really are behind the scenes. I'm telling you, we don't know these elected officials. We really don't know these people. God knows how many other these other elected officials around this country are hanging out together and saying really weird things. They just happen to have somebody leaked this on this because somebody wanted to expose them. And one of the men on here, as I showed you before, and I'll show you his damn face again, he's trying to run again for me. He's trying to run for mayor of Los Angeles against Karen Bass, I think is her name, who will be up very soon. And here's the next audio clip. I need y'all to listen to this. I need y'all to share this video. Uh, you know, folks like always ask for him. Talking he about Garcetti. Call me. He wants to have breakfast with me. That's the mayor um, of L.A., Garcetti. I haven't. I just said, hey, we need to talk. He, you supported him from the... All right, don't worry. I got you. Um, uh, yeah. Fuck that so guy. You, you see what it said? Uh, F him. Stop it right there. Stop it right there. Tell the truth. So they're talking about Gail Garcetti, who I believe is the mayor of Los Angeles. And they're talking about how he is a supporter, and I don't believe that fully, but he is sort of a supporter of the black community, meaning he he will vote because he needs the black vote too, you know, right? They need these damn votes. So he, they're saying that he sort of is uh, working with the black community and they don't like that. These are three Latino or Spanish speaking people and they are for their people. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? If you hear what I'm saying to you, put a seven in the chat room because seven is a spiritual number. Tell the truth. They're talking. See, we talk a lot. We talk, we, we spend a lot of time talking about nonsense on YouTube. We need to be reporting on stuff like this. We need to be empowering our people with real information. Tell the truth. Information is power. While they're talking, they're talking about the mayor. I'm going to bring it back because it's only a short 22, a 22 second clip. They're talking about the. They're talking about they're talk, they're naming one guy. This is Herrero right here. They're talking about, I guess, him and how him and both Garcetti, I guess, work with the black people in Los Angeles. So they say F him. Let's hear it again. Let me make sure I got it right. Hear this again. Listen to it and read the words, please. Uh, you know, folks like always ask for him. He did call me. He wants to have breakfast with me. Um, What's taking him so long? I haven't. I just said, hey. I He's talking about the mayor, Garcetti, having breakfast with him. And then she, the president, 
Martinez, who really is the one that's really in a lot of trouble here with this because of how she was talking about the child, is saying, what's taking him so long to call you, right? Now, let's hear it. We need to talk. We need to talk. You supported him from the... All right, don't worry, I got you. Um, uh, yeah. so you start seeing him. She says, she says, F that guy. F that guy. See, there go the words right there. That's from Martinez. That's the president of the city council in Los Angeles, California. Supposed to be the city of angels. What a joke. <laughs> and let me shout out to everybody out there that's listening to me in L.A. because I do have some of my biggest views coming from L.A., Chicago, New York, uh, Dallas, uh, Houston, uh, Houston, Te or Dallas, Texas. Right. Atlanta, Georgia. I got nothing but respect for my people in Los Angeles that are watching me right now. We'll watch this on a repeat. But guess what? I'm down for y'all. Y'all need to give holy hell and raise holy hell on these people and anybody like that. That's like them because they don't give a damn about you, my people. They don't give a damn about it. And I know y'all going through a lot of BS out there with the political scene. But this is what's going on, folks. Black people, we need power. We need to be fighting for power. We need to be seeking power. I'm going to say it again. Some of us don't believe in politics. Some of us don't want to be involved in politics. Some of us don't want to vote because we feel the political game doesn't work for us. But Fred. Hampton told us a long time ago before they slain him in Chicago that black people, black people need a political education. Tell the truth. You get nothing in this world without politics. You ain't going to get reparations. Anybody that's talking to you about reparations and they don't have a political plan for you us to get it is not leading you to no reparations california the reason why our reparations movement is moving forward in california because we have we are involved politically and in dealing with these political demons to get what is ours you cannot not pull out of the system and think it's just gonna come showering down on you Latino people, Hispanic people or Spanish speaking people in Los Angeles are getting power because they got people that look like them in them council seats, council seats. And they're talking about how we got to carve things up so that we maintain power and the hell with the black people and the hell with those that support the black people in Los Angeles that are in political class. That's what they're saying here. Let's hear it again. The whole damn video. This is needs to be emphasized to all of y'all tonight. And it needs to be sent out through all your social media. It needs to be passed on to other bigger YouTubers so that they can pass it on. Damn it. This is not, this is all hands on deck. Damn it. All the, you know, folks like where that's going. He did call me. He wants to have breakfast with me. Um, Where's they him from? I haven't, I just said, hey, and we need to talk. He, Gil supported him? Gil. All right, don't worry. Gil Gersh said, see? Talking about who he supports. Damn um, it, damn it, damn it. Right there, the president of the council, Martinez, is talking about who Gil support. That's the mayor of Los Angeles. So because he's supporting the black candidate, and you know who that is, we got a black woman who's running for mayor because I guess Gil's going to be stepping down of Los Angeles. He's not running again. She's, I think she's, he's running, wait a minute. I think she's probably going to run against him, but I think they don't like the fact that he supports certain candidates that are black or certain candidates that are, you know, part of the black community that he's been supportive in some way or fashion. So they say that they say F him for who, who for who he's supporting. Um, Where's they him from? I haven't. I just said, hey, and we need to talk. He Gil supported him from the. All right, don't worry, I, I got you. Don't worry, I got um, you. You hear what he's saying? Don't uh, worry, I got you. Uh, yeah. Fuck that so guy. Fuck that guy, that, that guy. She guy. says, my god. My god, that's the end of the that's the end of the clip right there, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa. So what you're hearing there is basically Martinez. Let me put her picture back up here. I want you all to emphasize. I want to emphasize who these people are again for you to know the bullshit that is going on in this city right here. As you see before you on the screen, I want you to know to see the bullshit that's going on in Los Angeles, California, the city of angels, as they call it. I want you to know what's going on in this place. 
the bullshit that's going on, the, the Hollywood bullshit that's going on, too, in this place. OK, I want you to know all about it. The traffic, the bad traffic, the smog, the whole nine yard that goes on. Can a black man, can anybody walk down the street and get some real Real shit going on. We don't know. We don't know that. You know why we don't know that? Because we got people who are playing games like these individuals that are in seat of power. And these are the people right here that are in seat of power right there. Let me remind you of what they who they are again. Again. To the left side is Kevin DeLone. DeLone. He's running for mayor against Karen Bask, I believe, who is a black woman. You'll see her very soon on my broadcast here. Very soon, I'll pull up a video on her. You've got Nuri. We got Miss Martin. You got Martinez, who to the far right, who is the president of the city council of Los Angeles, California. She's the main one talking about the child, calling him a monkey, talking about how he needs to be, you know, harmed in some kind of way. The other two guys are laughing about how, well, if we get him off the float when we were on that float, the people would probably want to harm him. She's also, they're, they're also the one, or she was on one talking about how the father was carrying him as if he's a Louis Vuitton purse, all that type of nonsense, right? Right, and this is the sucker right here that's right next to her. See, they're, 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 they're making plays for, them, for themselves. The same thing that we should be doing politically, right? So you hear them saying, don't worry, we got you. When she's making all that noise about, when is he going to call you? F him. He supports the blacks. These two guys, don't worry. Don't worry. We got you. We got you. Now, the one in the middle with the glasses on, that's Gil Chadello. Gil Chadello. C-E-D-I-L-L-O. Chadello. He's in the middle. He's a city council member. They need to all be eliminated. The one that's running for mayor, he should not even get anywhere near the mayorship. The one in the middle, Chodillo, he needs to be out of his job. They've already are asking for her to resign from her job and to step down as being the president. But she should be out of politics in Los Angeles altogether. Racism, right? Now, here she is all hugged up with Gil Scargelli because they didn't like the fact that he has he has some he, he supports some of the things that black people are trying to do out there. I don't know. I don't see it as evident. There she is to the right. There's the other sucker in the, in the right top corner. And there's the other sucker to the right lower corner. Chodello. They're all running. And then they're talking about this man's. He I guess this, I guess he must have a black wife or I don't know if he's adopted the child or what. This man right here is is bone in who is also a city council member. He wants her to re be resigned from her office altogether. And I agree Now she comes on um, and gives this pussy ass statement here in a moment of intense frustration, bullshit and anger. I let the situation get to the, get the best of me. And I hold myself accountable for these comments for that. I am sorry. Bullshit. You probably been talking like this. Anytime you hear somebody hear someone talk like this, ladies and gentlemen, nine out of 10 times, they probably been talking like this for a very long time. Tell the truth. Information is power. they're telling you really how they feel ladies and gentlemen if you can hear me and hear me well and you all are understanding my passion tonight my emotions to this tonight and how and what i'm saying to you that black people we need to be we need to be coming together for power and not getting into the gender war and all the other goofy stuff that goes on on youtube <laughs> because these other groups that they want to lump us in with and call us people of color they're not supporting us. They're not caping for us. We shouldn't be caping for them. They're trying to get theirs. Why don't we get ours? Because they are doing stuff behind the scenes politically to cut us out of the God, out of the damn loop. And that's the damn truth. Tell the truth. That's her little BS apology. Now, here comes Kevin Delano because he wants to be a mayor someday of Los Angeles. Here he comes with his comment. There were comments made in the context of this meeting that are wholly inappropriately inappropriate and i regret a, yeah no what you regret man is you regret being caught in your effery i appeal to the I, I appeal to the condemn and even contribute to certain insulting comments made about a colleague and his family in private i reached out to their to that colleague personally guess what i don't care I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. It's too late. You talked about a black child in a racial way. And you know damn well if a black person in politics had talked about a Latino family in this manner, 
the Latino community would be asking for his head, asking for that black person to be lifted away from their position, gotten out of their position. And they would also be speaking about racism from the black community on to them. And we're setting up here talking about people of color in the year 2022. No black person should be calling themselves a people of color, especially black people in Los Angeles, California. And here's Los Angeles where all this effery is going on with black people. No, 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 no. There is no people of color. It's just us and other groups that are all trying to survive in this world we call America, this planet called Earth. And they're going to do whatever they can politically to make sure that everything works for their pocketbooks individually and that their communities benefit. Nobody black and brown are not working together. There's no working together. You didn't hear them talking about working together. You heard them say that the mayor is an F boy for supporting the black people. You heard her say that the that the child is a monkey. And, and I'm making a big deal out of this because these people are on the seat of power in Los Angeles, California, while black people are homeless out there. They ain't doing shit about that. While black people have, have their struggles out there, they're not doing a damn thing about that. And while we as black people on these social media streets get on YouTube, get on panels, and we talk a lot of gibberish all day and talk about things that really don't matter in the bigger picture of the world. And we talk about, and we talk to each other in very demeaning ways, very disrespectful ways, while we got other racial groups who don't see this, see us as their brother and sister. They see us as competition and they're going for power and they're working together. These three men are not looking at this Spanish speaking woman as, oh, She's trying to take our position as men. See, men supposed to be in a position of power and the woman is supposed to be. Sub they not talking like that. They talking about we got you. You heard they're saying we got you. Don't worry. We'll do what we got to do politically. They're sitting up here talking about we got our woman. Our woman looks just like us. She's of our culture. We got her. While, bl while black folks get on YouTube and cut down on our black women, our black women are cutting down on black men. Not all of us are doing this, but some of us are doing this while we cut down on each other, while we punch down on each other. These particular groups are lifting their women up. They said in the meeting, we got your back, Miss Martinez. Huh? Huh? Wake up now. Now, let's hear the other video that's very damaging, ladies and gentlemen, a very damaging video that you need to hear a two minute 19 second damaging video. Here we go. Yes. I see a lot of little short, dark people. Yeah, uh oh. Little yeah. Korean. <laughs> You're talking about Korean people now. Not even like Kevin. Little Talking about little dark people. What's that supposed to mean? Like, so I don't know where these people are from. I was like, I don't know what it is. Thank you for the super chat, Empress I Goddess. Have to do, right? this massage to create Thank you for the benefit. super chat. Did you hear that? Wait a minute. God damn it. God. Oh, God damn it. Did you hear what he said? I believe that is either Sardel or Gil Chodilla or either Kevin. DeLong, who I showed the pictures of, who says, don't worry, we got you. All we got to do is massage a few things. See, they're talking the real. See, there's the see politicians show you one face on TV like that for everybody. And they'll say people of color. And then when they're behind those closed doors, they ain't talking at people of color. These people would be what could be considered people of color. Do you hear them talking about, hey, what we need to be doing as a people, as Latino or Spanish speaking people, is that we need to be working together as people of color, which means we got to work with the blacks. We got to work with the Koreans, the Asians, and we got to be a big coalition. Do you hear them saying anything like that? They're saying what we got to do is we got to relax the situation. And she's sitting up there talking about, look at the little dark people. What dark people is she talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, who do you think are the dark people that she's talking about? Put it in the chat room. Let's hear this from the beginning. We're going to break this down little by little before we end this tonight. Yeah, that's called K-Town. That's Chodillo talking now. Yeah. That's called K-Town. Talking about the Koreans. Yeah. 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 Yeah
in Korean. Shadillo's talking. Like and she's laughing. Little one. Talking about, but they said dark people too, y'all. Like, what... Now that's Martinez talking right there with the laugh. Here she go. I get what we have to do, right? This massage to create. Here is Herrero saying, I get what we have to do, right? Now, Herrero, I don't think I have a picture of him. He's a different guy that's talking. He says, I get what we have to do, right? We just massage to create districts that benefit you all. What did I say? Tell the truth. All we have to do, black people, I'm telling you right now, if God is my witness, you've got to share my video with your friends, your family. You got to flood this video all over Facebook, all over Twitter, because I don't know how many people are doing this video and doing it the way I'm doing it. But you got to get this message out. We need to let people know this. We've talked about this. Thank you for that super chat again. Thank you for the super chat. Go Empress Goddess. I want to say thank you to DOD. Alex is in the house. Queen, I know I am. Thank you. It all comes out in the end. Thank you for being here, my sister. We got Lion's Den, a.k.a. Uh, I want to thank uh, uh, a.k.a. Trey. I want to thank Carolina Harvey for being here. Charlie Hustle for being here. Chaos Rain for being Chaos Rain, share the damn video. Everybody in this chat room should be sharing the video we got point blanks travel that's my brother there make sure y'all check out his channel too we got big dog philly og that's my man he's got a he's got a channel he's doing big things on his channel too so make sure you give him some love and some understanding right we've got uh von bryant one of the mods coming in tonight thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you. We got uh, uh, Castro. We got ten, we got people coming in, and I really appreciate all of you. If I didn't mention anybody's name personally, don't take it personal. I got to stay on point because I don't really want to hold you all all night, but I don't want you all to leave yet either because I got at least one more video with the potential black female who is running for mayor. And DOD, thank you for coming back over. Appreciate all of you. We got Bobby Blue coming in strong alice christian we got the queen we got carlos t we got earl owens uh who else did i miss here i might have missed some people we got big brother in life <laughs> last call beverly palmas um lions Den, aka trey x i said before Thank you, thank you, thank you. So what they said in this meeting, this is audio. This has been leaked, everybody, is that Herrero says, get what we have. This is what he says. He, he says, I get what we have to do, right? Just massage to create a district that benefits you all. So they're talking about creating districts. And they're saying in this that they got the numbers to be able to push black people out the way. You're going to hear this uh, peace to you and much respect to point blank travel information, man. Salute. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get back to this audio. May have to play it one more time. I want y'all to walk away from my show knowing that you are well informed. Here we go. Districts that benefit you all, yep. right, and the future. Yep. But we got to figure out Mark seat too. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know that benefits you three. Is it the, if, if the African Americans look at this now that he might or may not be suspended? I don't know what's going to happen. I think he should be, but anyhow. If you hear that? Away, you, mean, and, you mean resign? Not suspended. That's D Lone. You're right. I see. Yeah, there is, there is, there is a difference. Stop that right there. He talked about the African Americans. See? This is the plots that they're plotting. Let's go back to this. Herrero says if the future, but we got to figure out Mark's seat too. 
that benefits you three. So they're figuring out how they can manipulate this political system in the in the in the district, you know, the area. And then they go on to say this. Martinez, who is the president of the council and they want her removed, says this. If the African-Americans look at this now that he may or may not be suspended. I know what's going to happen now. What they're talking about is that there was a black man on the council and this fool got himself suspended and kicked off the council because he's trying to bribe. This, uh, this is alleged. It's alleged that he was trying to bribe someone at USC University of USC Southern Cal for a, he was trying to get an advanced master degree or some type of degree. And they're claiming this is alleged. Everybody, this is alleged, alleged, alleged that he was trying to bribe the university. And that's why he got in trouble and got kicked out of the seat. Then they got another black man down there who wanted, who was going to be putting, taking over his seat and they'd have squeezed him out of the situation. They have squeezed him out of the situation. Uh, there's a lot of shit going on in Los Angeles. Let's hear this. Let's go back here and just play this. Look at this. Now that he might or might not be suspended, I don't know what's going to happen. I think if he should be, but anyhow, if he goes away. You mean, you mean resign? Can you hear? Put a seven in the no, chat room if you can right, hear. I see, yeah, there is, there is, there is a difference. If, I may, if he resigns, hold on. If he resigns and the African Americans look at this as a hostile takeover, because he you hear what she's saying? So the guy that's in trouble right now, who that's under investigation, they're basically figuring out how they can get his seat so that they can further their power and control on that council and influence for their people. Martinez says this, if the, if he resigns and holds on to his seat, and I wish I could name that brother who, um, has gotten himself in trouble. I, I, I had his name and I just don't have it off. If anybody knows, anyone lives in Los Angeles that knows the name of the black council member who got himself in some type of situation, allegedly put his name in a chat room. Uh, if you are familiar with that situation, there's a lot of funny things going on in, in Los Angeles right now, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but they say if he holds on to his seat or if he resigns and the African-American community looks at it as a hostile takeover because he's let's go on as a hostile takeover she says this gone. he's gone we all have to figure that shit out we'll have, have to figure that shit out we'll have to figure that shit out see how she's talking let me play that back and let you just hear it without me interrupting takeover because he's gone we all have to figure that shit out because politically they're going to come out yeah but can i say something right now and then we'll you hear what he said? You hear what she says? She says, she says, if he resigns and they try to take over that seat, they're going to come after us because they're going to see it as a hostile takeover from the Spanish speaking community. In this case. And we're going to have to deal with that. They'll see it as a hostile takeover. Yeah, but can I say something right now? This is D Long talking this shit. And this is what I call the, oh, he's speaking in Spanish. Check this out. So she's already admitting that this is going to be seen as a hostile takeover by the black community, but they're going to try to figure out how they can still bamboozle their way and control that, take that seat and push black people out of the way because they say that they got the numbers. See, this is a power dynamic, ladies and gentlemen. Black people, we need to be into power dynamics. We need to be into power and not just a bunch of arguing with each other. See, while we're arguing with each other, these people are seeking power and control. Look at this as a hostile takeover because he's gone. We all have to figure that shit out. Because politically, they're going to come after us. Yeah, but can I say something right now? Yeah, but figure that shit out. Kamosuma. The, the, the Wizard of Oz effect. Mm -hmm. and what I mean by the Wizard of Oz effect is oh. when you're on the side of the curtain, it's like this big voice. Mm -hmm. 
Can you hear? And then when you actually pull the curtain, is how you see the little wizard of Oz. And this is what I want to say to you again, ladies and gentlemen. DeLone, this is um, Kevin DeLone. He's the one who's running for mayor of Los Angeles. You see how it all comes, all how it all blends together? Come on, black folks. We don't play games on my show. We're not over here for this ain't we we don't play games on the information man show. I don't I don't go live on this program and give you fluff. I give you fact, I give you truth. Tell the if, truth. If you want fluff, there's a whole bunch of other channels that will give you fluff and garbage. Over here, we inform you. We wake you up. You know what? I've never watched the movie. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. All right. It's real simple. You got 100 people, it's right? 52 old, of them are Mexicanos. Yeah, yeah. I feel pretty good about it. Yeah. I feel pretty good about my chances of beating your ass. Do yeah. you hear that? 52 of them are Chicago. Let's pull it back. They're talking about their numbers now. It's about power dynamics, ladies and gentlemen. It ain't about no people of color. It's about power dynamics. Herrero says this. All right. It's a real, it's real simple. You got a hundred people, right? 52 of them are Mexican or, or Mexican or Chicano. They're saying that we got the numbers. It's a numbers game. Our people will vote for us. Put us in office, put us in the seat of power. The black people won't have the numbers to put us in power. And we sit up here as black people talking about how I don't want to vote. Uh, the politics ain't going to work for us. You may feel that politics doesn't work for you, black people. Some black people, not all black people. But guess what? These people in Los Angeles have figured out that it's going to work for them because they got the numbers. They got the support and they get in those offices what do you think is going to happen if they dominate all those all, the, all those seats? What do you think black people are going to get in Los Angeles? Nothing. Nada. We're not getting nothing now. Nada. They're going to get everything because they've got the political power. They got the political clout. He, Herrero says it's real simple. You got 100 people, right? 52 of them are Mexican. Let's play that back so you can hear the audio to this. Pull the curtain. Is that you see the little wizard of Oz? Yeah. You know what? I've never watched the movie. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. All right. It's real simple. You got a hundred people, right? Fifty-two of them are Mexicano. Mexicano. I'm sorry, Mexicano. Feel pretty good about my chances of beating your ass. Twenty-five or black. You're saying it's very simple. There's a hundred people. And then 52 of them are Mexicano, Mexicano. My chances of beating your ass is pretty good. Ladies and gentlemen, they're looking for power dynamics. These people are not looking to be friends. They're not looking to be people of color with us. They're not caping for us. They're not saying let's all be one in unity and work together with black and brown people. That you know you don't hear anything in their conversation about black and brown. But black people, we're the only ones, or at least our so-called black leaders who ain't real black leaders. You'll hear Al Sharpton say this. You'll hear all these Negroes in the Congressional Black Caucus. Every time they get on an interview, they always use that word. Well, the black and brown people. You had uh, Warnock when he was asked by a young man about what about reparations Warnock and he turned it into a conversation about I want equity and it's about marginalized people and people of color dude these people supposed to be people of color and they not for us in Los Angeles and they haven't been for a very long time so Warnock you're not answering the question then when Marcellus came up to him who was running for Congress who from South Carolina, I think his name is Marcellus. When that brother came up to him and confronted him about reparations, he didn't want to talk to him. He didn't want to talk to him. So these black politicians, these jack -a leg politicians that we got out here ain't doing nothing for us. 
talking as people of color stuff. Why these people behind closed doors, they're not talking people of color stuff. They're talking about if you got 100 people and we got 50 Mexican Chicanos or Mexicanos, then my chances of whipping their ass is pretty good. And 25 or so are black and the 25 black people are shouting, we gonna win. Let's hear that part. Let's hear this, this whole thing again. Hear that again right there. It's real simple. It's real simple. People, right? 52 of them are Mexicanos. I feel pretty good about it. I feel pretty good about my chances of beating your ass. 25 are black. 20, look how they're laughing. 25 are black people. You see? Nope. But they, they shout like they were 250. Yeah. When there's 100 of us, they're, they're right. like, it sounds like they're 10 of us. But, but you hear what they're saying? They shout with 25. There's 25 black people shouting, but there's 100 of us. So even if they're not happy, they're saying basically, even if black people are not happy, even if black people are not happy about us doing a hostile takeover of a particular political seat, it doesn't matter because we got the numbers. And if we take it over, it might be a small number of black people that are shouting at us, that are protesting against us. It doesn't matter because we got a hundred of us and we're going to take it over. And we got we got the power, baby. And we'll push them out the way while you heard them laughing, giggling, collaborating with each other. This is what's really going on behind the scenes politically, ladies and gentlemen. These people are not calling themselves people of color behind. You don't hear anything about people of color or working with black people in that in that in that discussion that they were having everything was about how they can push us out of the way we best to wake up and stop playing around here i'm telling you all we best to wake up and stop playing around here hear that again hear that other part again Mm -hmm. And what I mean by the Wizard of Oz effect is oh. when you're on the side of the curtain, it's like this big voice. Yeah. And it sounds big. Yeah. And it sounds mm -hmm. like there's thousands of them. And then when you actually Good. She resigned. Good. pull the curtain, is that you see the little Wizard of Oz. So he's giving this Wizard of Oz analogy, folks. It's the same thing. It's They're talking about using a Wizard of Oz effect to take control. I feel pretty good about it. I feel pretty good about my chances of beating your ass. 25 are black. They're laughing. 25 are black and they're laughing. But they shout like they were 250. Yeah. When there's 100 of them. I wish I knew who leaked it, but I'm glad whoever it was that leaked it that they leaked it. All right, folks. There we have it. I'll say to you, we're going to play Karen Bass, who's running for uh, mayor to get her words about this situation in Los Angeles. Now, in this video that I will show you, she is going to say that she's very disappointed in what the, what they did. And they're going to say that these three individuals were looking to support her. OK, they're going to give you that narrative that they, they were supporting her. Well, I don't think they were supporting her if they're talking like that or maybe they're acting like they're in support of her. But behind the scenes, they're really plotting behind the scenes, right? Now, these three individuals, um, like I said before, we got Gil Shadello, who's in the middle. We got Kevin DeLone, who was the one that was talking. And we got Martinez, who sister, um, sister uh, Nikki, divine perfection, peace to you, sister, has just broke the news to us in the chat room. Uh, that she has resigned her post because they've been protesting outside of her house and everything, y'all. OK, um, she was making a lot of nasty comments, as you could hear. She was laughing about the child and everything like that, making a statements about how they should the child should be harmed in some kind of way. This whole thing was re was the most ridiculous and the most unprofessional, but. I'm glad that this happened because it wakes black people up in Los Angeles to know there is no black and brown coalition. There is no people of color. We are not the same and we should not put ourselves in category. We not, we should not say words that drag other people into our plights and our situations. Okay. 
I'm telling you right now, everybody, you need to really look at this, these pictures as I get ready for that video. Really, really understand what I'm telling to you. I'm telling, talking to you about right now. This is very important. That's Garcetti, who she was, who they were saying F him because he has shown some support for black people in LA. Some, I don't know. Representative Gomez made a statement on the link, the leaked, the leaked audio commented by an L.A. city council member. I am applauded by the personal attacks and comments made about a child and strongly condemn the, re the racism, the racist language. This city is at its best when its leaders take responsibility for their action, show humanity and capability and work together. You know, being culpable, culpability. Let me say that. That's the right word for that. And show culpability and work together to uplift all communities, which they have not been doing. So this is all wordplay again. Understanding that unity and collaboration is better than division. Look, man, ain't nobody been working with black folks in Los Angeles. Ain't no been no unity. Let's stop the BS. Let's stop the BS right now. There's been no damn unity. When has there been unity? Let's stop. Let's stop. Why don't y'all talk about how your gang element from Mexico comes over, goes into black neighborhoods and harms black people and have gone over into black communities and tried to bomb them out of their housing units. Why don't y'all talk about that? So-called unity. There has never been any unity. That's BS. Let's not talk about that's not let's not tell that lie in Los Angeles, California. It's a very polarized town. We mostly get caught up in Los Angeles based on the um, the what we call uh, the Holly, you know, the Holly weird stuff. Right. <laughs> we get caught up about Los Angeles because of the Holly weird. Instead of really realizing that Hollywood is not what it's really all about. It's right. What's happening to the people on the ground in this place we call Hollywood in this place right here, Los Angeles with horrible traffic conditions and things of that nature and smog. They have beautiful homes. There's, there's a lot of, lot of top, a lot of hot places out here, but there's a lot of racism that goes on. They've been going on for a long time. And black folks have said this and said this about the LAPD. We have told the truth about what they, how they treat black folks in Los Angeles. Nobody wants to listen and believe it until you had the Rodney King incident. And then you got cell phones. People can record this stuff. And then you got politicians who have been elected to serve the people so-called. But now we're finding out they're not really serving black people either. And so we need to say it's about we need to have we need to be as selfish as these people are. And be about ourselves because they're damn sure. About themselves. Let's get ready for the next video, folks. Here we go. Three of the council members caught up in this scandal have endorsed Representative Karen Bass to be the next mayor of L.A. Tonight, Bass and her opponent, developer Rick Caruso, are responding to this leaked audio. Bass has released a statement that reads in part, let me be clear about what was on those tapes. Appalling anti-black racism. The challenges we face already threatened to tear us apart. And now this hateful and shocking conversation among some of our city's most powerful leaders could divide us even further. All those in the room must be held accountable. And I've spent the day speaking with black and Latino leaders about how to ensure this doesn't divide our city. Proponent developer Rick Caruso also released a statement that reads in part, this entire situation shows that City Hall is fundamentally broken and dysfunctional. 
In a closed door meeting, leaders at the highest level of city government use racial slurs and hate speech while discussing how to carve up the city to retain their own power. This is a clear example of hypocrisy, racism, and They were trying to figure out how to carve up the city to maintain their power and control. Moses says in the chat room, why is everyone shocked? Everyone of the same identity sticks together. So-called blacks are the only ones who don't. It's not that we're, it's not that I'm completely shocked about it. It's that we're, that I'm saying tonight, I'm giving out an alert tonight that we need to think about power dynamics, that we need to be doing what they're doing without the racism, but just do the political the political part to control seats, to have black people more politically involved. And I'm not, when I say politically involved, I'm not talking about sellouts. I'm not talking about raccoons and all those type of folks. I'm talking about no Al Sharpton. Those people don't represent us. I'm talking about people that represent us from the grassroots. Something has to be done because this is not just happening in Los Angeles. This is happening in other parts of the country where black people are being gentrified because the damn Democrats, as well as the Republicans, right? Even though they say they're against immigration, a lot of these Republicans be using these immigrants to work for them. OK, they want these other groups to come over here to replace us. Dr. Claude Anderson told us about this already. I have played several videos about this about how these groups want to carve us up out of here. Literally and figuratively. Crude power politics, everyone involved in this should be held accountable. So how do the people of Los Angeles feel about these racist comments? What about the African-American community, the target of much of this hate? Wait. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the super chat, uh, Empress Queen. Again, we so-called black people. Let me put you on the screen here. Why am I looking down that way when I can just put you up right here? Put you up right there where you need to be. Thank you, anybody. Everybody that super chatted me tonight, I really appreciate you. <laughs> Empress Goddess gave me a $10 super chat. She says, we so-called black people are selfish bunch of individuals afraid that you may get more than they get. I just think that they're actually doing what they, I'm going to be honest with you. What they're doing politically is what everybody should do politically when you have the numbers, right? But what they're doing though is that they're also displaying their racism, their anti-black sentiments and things of that nature to push us out the way. But it should be a reminder as the individual who came into the chat room and said, why is everybody surprised? This has been going on for a long time. This is what other groups do. That's true. And this is why I've been saying we got to get out of this people of color language. Don't define yourself that way because some of these people don't see you the same way when you start saying that crap out of your mouth. We got Tiffany Jackson who says we need to get together and stick together, right? We got Wow William 454. Thank you for that super chat Thank too you again. Thank for the super chat. Um Empress um Empress uh Goddess. Um we got um Will Wow, we got Wow William 454 coming in saying, "Hey, good brother. Thank you." I'm going to end this pretty soon because I don't want to keep everybody up. I know it's late across the country. Tiffany Jackson says we need to get together and stick together right now. Facts. Tell the truth. DOD says smash the likes, but share the live stream. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, brother. <laughs> Last call says don't get your panties in a bunch. That's not what I said. I think you're confused. Well, I hope that's Well, I didn't say anything. Uh, last call. I was talking to another person who wrote something in the chat room. So, 
put them like him. <laughs> let me see. Uh, Celest is that uh, Celestine Celeste is in the house. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that name correct or not, but you put this in there. You said, uh, you said, uh, you busy wondering about other protecting your rights, waiting for something to change in the news being exposed here. You, um, let me see. Instead of spreading the word last call, that's, um, uh, faithful. Okay. So I think last call. Uh, they're having some word exchanges. I think everybody, I want everybody to get along in the chat room. If people have difference of opinion, you can, but on this, in, in terms of this, you can't have a difference of opinion when it comes to one main thing. We got to work together and not let other groups push us out because that's what they're doing with their numbers. And this is why Dr. Claude Anderson said that immigration would be a detriment for black Americans because um, we're being pushed out of the margins now. Um, and he warned us about this. What's going on, Von Bryant? Doing a great job uh, tonight as a as a mod. I appreciate that. And uh, Queen, I know I am, is in the house. Give her a lot of love, everybody. She says that uh, she says that L.A. is the is a wasteland of foreign trade. <laughs> All right, now. All right, people people expressing themselves. I can't, you know. You know, everybody, I'm, uh, it makes me frustrated. But once again, I mean, the person did make a good point. We, uh, at the end of the day, I'm not, I, I, I showed some emotions about this tonight. I'm not really shocked by it. I knew these things happened. But when you actually have the evidence that proves it, and it's someone who's in a position of some kind of authority and power in government, it just really, it can be a shocker. It can still be, a, it can still shock you, even though you know that it does happen because you have the evidence of it. You know, you actually have an audio with them talking like this that's been captured for everyone to hear and to, to, to try to get the, the interpretation from it out of their own words. Um, we got takes in the house. Uh, let me see. We got Queen Anoa. Let me read some of these other messages here. Oh, she's saying, please subscribe. Lions Den is saying, peace, everybody. We got Kali. We got saying, exactly. How do you pronounce your name? Um, Kali Fusion. Exactly. Peace to you. <laughs> Let me see. Last call. Are you on your mom's account again? <laughs> so a little, we got a little bit, of, little bit of beefing in the chat room, but try to chill that down a little bit because... We really don't do beefing over here. Now, if that person now don't, I, I don't want people trolling over here. Everybody can have a difference. Everybody can have their difference of opinion, but you know, just be chill. We don't, you know, I normally don't have a bunch of commotion going on in the chat room and I don't, I don't like it like that. You know, if you're going to start any commotion, take that shit to another channel, but be cool. Last calls a mod of mine. He's been supporting me. So sir, ma'am, whoever you may be, be chill with those weird comments now i'm gonna say this right now at the end of the day we as black people gotta stick together other groups are taking political power for themselves and they don't give a damn about the other groups every group does this they're actually doing what we should be doing i'm just saying minus the racist comments out of it you minus the racist comments we're they're doing exactly what we should be doing too and we were warned about these things. So it's not like we didn't know this, folks. We're like, at, we're like getting sleep at the wheel here. And it ain't just Los Angeles. I'm, this is happening in other places, whether you're in Chicago, New York, Atlanta, Georgia. These things are happening all over. Where you think people got your back because it's this people of color thing. And then behind the scenes, they talk about how they need, how they're going to carve you out of the equation. You see, get you out of the paint here. Now, nah, black people don't need to be racist. We need to just be, we need to be who we are. Righteous people. We don't need to be racist. We need to, we need to have us. I've been saying this all night. You need a lesson, sir. You need a lesson. 
We don't need to be racist. We need to be on code and we need to look for power dynamics. What is a power dynamic? We need to come together and start dominating some of these political positions in these local governments because all government is local. We need to rise up and say, these Spanish speaking people are hiding behind the scenes talking about how they're going to outnumber us with their hundred, their hundreds of people versus our 25 people and that they can kick our asses. So that means that we need to come together in larger numbers to fight against that. So what we need to be is on code, have knowledge of self, be aware of what's going on, educate ourselves and recognize that we're not people of color and that these other groups are not coming over here to be our friends. They're coming over here to whip our ass. You heard him say, I can whoop their ass. With our numbers, we can whoop their ass. It's about power dynamics. I want power. I don't want racism. Racism doesn't equal any power. What is what is what good is for black people to be racist if we got no power to go? We don't have no power with it. White people can be racist. But guess what? White people are racist equal their power, which means what? When you have the power, now you can control government. You can control communities. You can control who gets what? The Spanish speaking population in Los Angeles, that's their leadership that's talking on those video on that audio. They're talking about power, using numbers to control districts, carving up districts. And they don't even have to do they don't even have to be racist to do that. All they got to do is use their population to do that, use their numbers politically. See, they didn't even have to talk all that racist stuff that they did because they still have the power dynamic that black people in Los Angeles don't have. So being just being racist as a black person don't mean nothing. If you don't have power to will it, we don't need to be racist. That's not even in our nature to be racist. All we got to do is be the loving. All we got to be is the powerful, loving people that we are, meaning loving ourselves is what I'm talking about. I ain't talking about everybody else. I'm talking about loving ourselves first. Caring about ourselves, uniting together as one. That's what we need. And then we need dynamic. We need dynamic. We need power dynamics. We need to be getting people in the seat of power that work for us, not we work for them and that have our best interests and get rid of all the raccoon black leadership that's doing nothing for us. Clean their asses out. If y'all understand where I'm coming from, put a one in the chat room. I'm about to end this program tonight. I appreciate everybody that's here. Lion's Den. Um, Let me see what this person's saying here. You're saying this. And what's going on, Earl Owens? Let's see. Power in Latino America has always been about setting up a castle. Yeah, a a system. Yes, I agree with you. Yes, 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 yes. So what I'm saying is that we as black people have to do the same thing. What's going on, Mr. Pirate Brain? What's going on, Mike B? What's going on, R.Y.? What's going on, Carlos T? What's going on, Queen? I know I am. What's going on, Natural? What's going on, the lovely Tiffany Jackson? What's going on, M Music Man 1982? A great year. I'm going to end this broadcast and I want y'all to make a, a make I want, I want y'all to do me a big favor. Make sure when you get an opportunity to share this in your Twitter, you share this in your Facebook. If you have Facebook, share this in any social site that you are a member of. If you have a YouTube channel, put it in your community tab. If you have people that follow your channel, tell them to watch this channel or, 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 to, or to watch the video, excuse me, or watch the channel, whatever they want to do. If you are a supporter of this channel, Make sure you tell, share this particular video with a family member, a brother, a sister, an uncle, a cousin, uh, someone that you know, maybe at the job that looks like us, uh, and share it. Let it be seen. Let it be seen. Because I think my video tonight is probably one of the most important videos that you could watch tonight and maybe one of the important videos of the year. And the reason why I say that is because We caught, they caught these people red handed on audio.
Black people, we've been saying for a long time on YouTube how we got to be B1, we got to be for ourselves, that there's no correlation. And here we have the smoking gun video in a city where black people live in Los Angeles and we're being gentrified out of Los Angeles. We're being gentrified out of the Bay Area in Northern California. Black folks are being gentrified all over this country where we got Joe Biden and Kamala Harris talking about immigration. Remember when she got into office, the first thing that they talked about is what they was going to do for the immigrants. You got immigrants that have, that you got the immigrants that have been the migrants that have been pushed to New York by the Florida governor, San, uh, uh, Sanchez, or whatever the hell his name is. And now New York is flooded with all these migrants that they're going to have to spend money taking care of. While you got black people and other people in New York who need those services, who are citizens, pay their damn taxes every year, but they're going to now have to pay taxes to serve those people who came over here as, as migrants and broke the law coming here, had no business coming over here and breaking the law in the damn first place. If me and you go to another country and we break into their country illegally, what do you think they're going to do to our black you know what? They're going to ship us off back to this country and be like, get your butt out. I gave you case in point. I did a video on this a couple of years ago. You had African men from the West Coast of Africa who got on rafts to try to get out of Africa. Isn't it interesting how you got African people from the continent of Africa, from the Western part of Africa, who are trying to leave Africa and get out of there. And f why we're being told as black Americans in America that we need to go to Africa and live there. But you got Africans that's already living there, that's born there, that's in the culture. They're trying to get out of there at, and even risking their life on rafts. And they went to, I think, Italy or Spain or somewhere like that. And what did the Spanish government do? Rounded them all up and put them on ships and sent them right back because they broke the law coming into their country and the Spanish government, even though they, they were racist, let's keep it real, these governments are racist. They said to themselves, first of all, they didn't want no more black men. They didn't want no black people over there. Let's keep that real, racism. But two, they made up their mind, we ain't got the resources to absorb all these people that we're going to have to spend money on. So they, what they do with, with their racism and with their opinion and their thoughts, they got rid of all these African men and sent them right back to Sierra Leone and all the other places they might have come from and fled from. And then we over here in America my tax dollars, your tax dollars is going to pay for people who broke, who broke the law coming here, getting over here. While we got black folks homeless on the street, black folks who need services. We need we got poor people in this country. Who need services of all different races. And we setting up here flipping the bill on people who broke the law coming over here. And now we flipping the bill on paying the Ukraine, giving the Ukraine all our damn money and resources. It's crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the program for tonight. I'm going to have to end it there, but I recognize all of you giving me great support tonight. I appreciate you guys all came out and you showed out tonight very well. You gave me great support. <laughs> Share the video. Queen, I know I am. Thank you. RY, thank you. Um, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I think it's Celity. I think I'm saying the name right. I'm not sure. Thank you for coming over, even though I know you and last call were going at it with each other with different opinions and all of that, but just be respectful in that chat room because I got people over here that's been rocking with this channel for a long time and people are not going to put up with any disrespect. Now we got hand throat here is saying, I support whatever you do, but I'm be calling them dogs from the back of the, of the, of the uh, crowd. Okay. Thank you for uh, coming over and supporting the channel tonight. DOD. Thank you for coming over. My brother, again, much love to you. Much respect to you as always. Saying great live stream. Thank you. Uh, Earl Owens, thank you. Carlos, too, thank you. Uh, Alex Christian, thank you. Um, let me see right here what we got here. Uh, thank you, Vaughn Bryan, for dropping those links and supporting. Make sure y'all check out the Information Man Speaks podcast. I got the other channel. I think I'm going to go live over there. Uh, that guy, Bishop uh, Whitehead. 
Oh my God. Oh my God. There's some other things about him that I'm gonna have to get into. I, I mean, I didn't want the second channel to turn into a Bishop Whitehead channel, but the man keeps giving us more content to talk about. So I'll be getting into some more stuff about Bishop Whitehead that's gonna blow your wig off. The man is just, my God. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, Earl Owens, thank you. Brother Von Bryant, thank you again. Um, thank you. Your friend did disrespect me. I value the information more. All right, but I think, um, I just want people to get along. I just want people to get along with each other. Last call is welcoming. Last call is I'm on the channel. You're welcome here. I just want people to get, I, what I'm saying is, I know people are gonna have different opinions. I just wanna see people be able to have their difference of opinions and be able to talk to each other respectfully without it getting super personal. You know what I'm saying? Because what did I just say tonight? We can't afford it, folks. Those, we got other people. You didn't hear any of those men on that audio say anything negative towards that woman. They had her back. They said, don't worry, we got your back. Don't worry, we'll make sure everything works out for you. Don't worry, we got the numbers. You didn't hear any of those Spanish speaking men say, sit up there and say, well, we can't support this woman because she's a woman and we're men and we got to be in charge and in control of this and that because, you know, it's the patriarchy, which patri patriarchy is very important to building a family. Very important. But they don't have to worry about that because they've got their patriarchy intact and they don't mind making sure that their woman who is who was because she had to resign, who was the president of the council. They didn't mind backing her move and supporting her, which says to me, they even with them having a strong patriarchy within their culture, they still are on code with their people. My God, why can't we get on code? Why can't we learn from this situation that happened in Los Angeles, California? Everybody. Thank you, Big Fish to Fry. Yeah, Big Fish to Fry, Earl, and we got Bigger Fish to Fry. Exactly, brother, thank you. <laughs> with that said, everybody have a great night. I'll be back with this show on Sunday, unless something else breaks out wow. Uh, I, I, I was almost gonna do this on my other channel, but I said, no, this story is too big. It needs to be on the bigger channel, and I did the right thing doing that. So everybody have a great night. I appreciate you all. Peace. Come on, everybody. Peace. Make sure you get, this is a commercial interruption right now. Make sure you get Yapo's book, uh, Yapo, Yapo, Tell the Truth. Tell the this Truth. This is a novel called Melanin, a sci-fi novel by a great black man, and that's Al Yapo, Yapo. I had him on my show for an interview. His book has jumped to number one on Amazon's new book release. Make sure you get this book. It's a sci-fi, black sci-fi book, but it's based in the elements of melanin. Y'all got to get it as if your life depends on it. Thank you for everybody. Thank you again, everybody.
tell the truth. Information is power. BS3 Network. BS3 Network. Changing the way you watch TV. BS3 Network. Changing the way you listen to podcasts. BS3 Network is now on Roku TV. Under BS3 TV. Download today. Information is power.
got the truth. 